Yo, what's up guys? It's Zach. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about some implants, which I totally forgot existed in the game. And it is the Virtue implant set, which gives you a bonus to scanning strength. I was looking around at some hardwires and things when I was building this Sestero, because we're going to be uh, doing what Johnny did and looking for this crazy loot in the data sites and everything. And I still need to figure out where we're going completely, but we're, we're just going to take this thing for a test drive because I think it's going to be really interesting anyway. And this could be episode one of an ongoing implant set uh, video series. So I thought this would be a good place to start. And I, I was originally planning the first episode to be about the Genos because they just give you like so many bonuses and they're really good for PVE. And then, like I say, I came across the Virtues and we we're, we're had a look. So let's just have a look at the fit real quick. So we've got where Sister's Core Probe Launcher on. And you can see the probe strength there is like 189. It's actually 189.1 if you get down to the nitty gritty of the numbers and stuff. And that's absolutely crazy. It's, I wouldn't say it's the highest you can get because there is some drugs out there uh, once in a while. I think the, the Holicorn ones, which give you... I think I've got a deviation one. Is it Holicorn or something they're called? Or Halcyon, whatever. My accent, GG. So you can push it a little bit higher and the, the virtue implants themselves is only mid grades and we'll get on to why I think there's only mid grades later on in the video because I think they would be like super OP, right? All right, so what the implant sets usually do, guys, if you're new to this sort of thing, uh, we just bring up the primary secondary effect and then we get a set effect. So the primary effect is always um, pretty good on these ones we get actual training time multipliers so perception willpower all that sort of stuff good for training ships and all the things really so usually the best bonuses come from the secondary effect and even though it looks small like one percent there the set effect of this actually gives ten percent once we're all plugged in with all six now you can run all five to get like a decent bonus but really it's the omega and it's usually the most expensive one, which gives you the best bonuses, right? Which we'll get to in a sec. So we'll just run through these real quick. 3% of perception, 1% of scan strength, scan strength, sorry. And we're 10% to that. And it's pretty much down the board, 2% on the beta. And we get memory training times for that one. And 3% and 4%. You can see where this is going. 5%. So all of those will uh, stack up really nicely, right? So without any implants, I'll put this in a separate box like over here or something. Without any implants, it's 128.4 scan strength on this fit. And just with those five, so the alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, it goes up to 162.4. So that's still a good jump right there. That's like an extra like 40 points or whatnot or 30 odd points. And if you add the omega in, so this is one of the big ones right especially on the high grades these are like super super good um and all it does is give you 25 percent bonus to the strength of all virtue secondary effects so on top of like say the five percent here and the ten percent of the, the set implant bonus we're getting the 25 percent uh no it doesn't really stack like that like multiplicatively because they're like stacking penalties and bonuses and things but i'm not really sure how the math works it's a whole like cluster that i don't want to get into if i could explain it properly to you guys i definitely would but i'll have to do some research for the the other ones but uh yeah it's an absolute cluster to get your head around and it, like i say it's not like flat bonuses because your scan strength would be like just through the roof and the next thing we've got just to make things even better and it was pretty expensive. It was 180 mil for this one. Um, this gives us an extra 10% on top of all that. So that pushes us right up to the 189.1. So you can see just in the box there, like the, the multiplicative numbers are just like, they get exponentially quite high, right? So like I was saying before, there's only a mid-grade set. And I think... I don't think we'll ever see a high grade set like I, I was mentioned earlier as well about drugs and things you could push a little bit higher but there's there's not really any of those on the market it's all just like login stuff right unless we'll get some in the like any events upcoming in that but like 189 points is really high and the reason if we had high grades that would push it way beyond 200 like way way like 230 240 I would think 
and it would make unprobable ships obviously probable again. Now, if you're not familiar with that, uh, some of the Tech 3s you can actually fit to be unprobable. I'm not sure about if they're unprobable with the virtues and things, but it may be something we can test later. But man, some of those, uh, the, the high grades would just make scanning them super easy. And also just like scanning in general for like combat scanners and things. I think it would be pretty easy just to scan literally anything. It's not like super hard anyway, but being like an improbable ship and being like two tapped or something like on your scanner, I think would be pretty crazy. But I mean, that's just how I feel about it. I'm sure people who combat probe all the time would uh, love a high grade set. I mean, I would really. <laughs> So that's the implants there. The other ones we've got is acquisition, which I think is uh, time. So that reduces our scan probe time. And we've got the hacking. And there's two versions of this one. There's the the data one and the relic one. We opted for the data for this since we're going to be doing loads of data sites. And we've got our environmental analysis, which gives us more data and relic stuff for the, the Zoogmon. So our stuff with this, let's have a look at the bonuses here. So the virus is 40 and the coherence is 145. So where's the base? Yeah, so the base is 30. And the base is actually 30 on that as well. So that's went way high, that holy mackerel. So it shows you the list of everything that's uh, given that bonuses. So that's obviously for our data stuff. But man, it's uh, pretty good. And I just wanted to show you guys as well the activation time is as well so it's based 10 seconds and we've got it like 4.86 so that's really nice too for doing scanning around i did have a this the time bonus one here i can't remember what it's called is it range finding no pinpointing maybe something like that which takes the the time down to like just over four seconds but obviously we need the the zoog for doing the scanning and stuff and other than that, we've got some aligned time things and some uh, expanded cargo holds. So we can go for quite a while while we're doing with scanning. So I hope I've explained that a little bit uh, better than what I feel like I have. But basically, the sets are really good, uh, especially the high grades, which we'll get into future episodes. I know I've showed you loads in the uh, past in the Tengu videos and things like that, which I always use them on. But yeah, implants are cool. So I thought we'd uh, get scanning. Just to show you guys how easy it is with this, because I'm interested myself. I haven't used this at all yet. All right, finally, guys, after like six jumps, we've actually found a cosmic sigma scan. So let's get one map up. And the cool thing about having like such a high rate of scan probe strength, hopefully, I'm thinking. I know I don't need to use the 8 AU here, but if you use 8 AU, it should ping straight away what this one is. What with the next system, anyway? Just to be ready. So I'm hoping. Yep. So I found a wormhole like straight away. And I just on the off chance want to find. What it gets we're on the four. So obviously normally you'd just run a four then a two or whatnot. But if there's a couple of sigs like in a like a group there. I think running an eight would be absolutely fine. So we could have had that down in like two or three. So that's pretty good. Let's jump into the next one. See what we we'll get. Alright, this looks like a pretty easy one here. We're on four, let's give it a ping. Well, I didn't get centered very well there. So that's the data actually. Let's see if we can snatch it out like two scans in. I think if I was a bit lower, I don't think we would 100 percent at it anyway. So we've got that in two. Let's pull the probes in, check it out. And then I think we'll uh, call it a day. We're definitely going to be doing some more of this scanning stuff though. After I've uh, watched Johnny's video again. And uh, figured out where we'll actually need to be. Oh, your boy's already on us. Well, there's one left. Joys of the Mighty Warp Drive. Let's see what we can grab here. Make sure we don't bounce too far. Should be straightforward, I would think. Let's 
No. Oh, nice. I use those all the time, so that's handy. And we've got a little decryptor there. It's a half a mil. Yeah, let's try a couple more, actually. All right, guys, we've got two SIGs in here. So if we chuck it on an 8AU, I'm really interested to see if it will ping both of these at the same time. Like, with some good accuracy. Maybe a bit low there, actually. Make sure we're not jumping. So, yeah, let's ping them both. I wonder if I would have done that on a... I suppose with the right placement. But it was, uh, was nice to be able to do that on an 8AU. Let's pull them in. There's one in this system. I'm pretty centered there. You can generally tell like where it's going to be. Nearest planet or whatnot. Usually a four is good enough to get them. Just a little bit off there. I think it's going to be down. Either down or up. Let's just leave it at four for now. No, oh, it's actually a combat site. Down to two. I think we could even go like, we could skip a step to be fair. Because the accuracy is pretty nice. It's a Yang June ruins. Hmm, not sure what it is, boys, but uh, let's go and die in a fire in here. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, it's actually like a scanny thing. Eh, uh, serps. It's gonna align out in case we get popped here. Yeah. No, oh, we'll be fine. Just all about this guy at like 30. Hopefully, non mole spawn. The drones seem to be doing decent damage to them. In fact, where's the cans? We might be able to... This... I'm not sure why, but this reminds of us like a... A cosmic site or something. Let's see if we can be cheeky here. I think we're over a thousand, maybe. We'll keep a check on my tank. Oh. It's not going good already. Let's try not to click stuff we don't need to be clicking on. Man, it was right there. Not really worth much. It's got to be like a Cosmos thing, this, surely. Not like a, we're not on a Ruby system or anything, are we? No. The scan's actually quite tough for this, though. These must be worth something, somewhere. Right, so we don't get an escalation spawn there. It must just be like one thing, I need to be hacking or something. Let's lock the rest of these up. But we can just stop here because we're in range of everything. Nope. Must be uh, far right, surely. So, technology book. I'm guessing there's a, just like one thing you need to 
to like hack you, but obviously since I'm not experienced enough to know what it is. I think this is literally the first time I've ever done this. So if anyone wants to help us in the comments there, what this actually is. Oh, close. Last one. At least everything's in range, which is uh, pretty nice. Coherence boost, give him a, a little bit of a hand here. Of course, it's like going to be at the opposite side. Just. So yeah, that's everything hacked there. It's a bit uh, weird. All right, guys, I think that's it for this first episode of the implant series. And uh, yeah, we did have a little bit of fun there in the Cosmos site and some of that scanning stuff. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that and it was informative. The implants are about 1.4 bill, including the hard wiring. So they can be a little bit pricey depending on uh, how space rich you are. But yeah, totally worth it in my opinion, especially for someone like me who really hates the chore of scanning like multiple times over and over again. So this really speeds things up, especially in bonus ships like the Astero and things. And in fact, what I should have done was checked out like a non-bonus ship as well, just to see how high we can get. So in a couple of episodes time or something, or a couple of videos time, we'll probably take the Astero out again and uh, we'll probably trace Johnny's steps and see if we can get as lucky as him. But I think everyone will be doing that now since Johnny's video was out. It's probably got like millions of views or whatnot. And um, yeah, so we'll see the Astero again. We'll park it up, park the pod up and we'll move on to the next one. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.